नमस्कार इस वीडियो में हम बात करेंगे इंटरनल माइग्रेशन के बारे में उसकी डेफिनेशन उसके टाइप्स और उसके मेजरमेंट के बारे में हम इस वीडियो में बात करने वाले हैं डेफिनेशन से स्टार्ट करते हैं सबसे पहले इंटरनल माइग्रेशन और डोमेस्टिक माइग्रेशन इज ह्यूमन माइग्रेशन विद इन वन जियो पोलिटिकल एंटिटी यूजली नेशन वाइड स्टेट इंटरनल माइग्रेशन टेंस टू बी ट्रेवल फॉर एजुकेशन एंड फॉर इकोनॉमिक इम्प्रूवमेंट और बिकॉज ऑफ अ नेचुरल डिजास्टर और सिविल डिस्टर्बेंस क्रॉस बॉर्डर माइग्रेशन ऑफन ऑफर्स फॉर पॉलिटिकल और इकोनॉमिक रीजन्स अ जनरल ट्रेंड ऑफ मूवमेंट फ्राम रूरल टू अर्बन एरियाज इन अ प्रोसेस डिस्क्राइब एज अर्बनाइजेशन हैज ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस अ फॉर्म ऑफ इंटरनल माइग्रेशन अब इसके टाइप्स के बारे में बात करते हैं इट इज पॉसिबल टू आइडेंटिफाई थ्री टाइप्स एंड फोर स्ट्रीम्स ऑफ इंटरनल माइग्रेशन एज फॉलोस ए इंट्रा डिस्ट्रिक्ट माइग्रेशन इसके अंदर चार टाइप्स होते हैं रूरल टू अर्बन अर्बन टू रूरल रूरल टू रूरल एंड अर्बन टू अर्बन बी इंटर डिस्ट्रिक्ट माइग्रेशन फर्स्ट रूरल टू अर्बन अर्बन टू रूरल रूरल टू रूरल एंड अर्बन टू अर्बन सी इंटर स्टेट माइग्रेशन रूरल टू अर्बन अर्बन टू रूरल रूरल टू रूरल एंड अर्बन टू अर्बन मूवमेंट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन विद इन द बाउंड्री ऑफ अ डिस्ट्रिक्ट इज डिफाइंड एंड एज इंट्रा डिस्ट्रिक्ट माइग्रेशन वेर एज द मूवमेंट आउटसाइड अ डिस्ट्रिक्ट बट विद इन द स्टेट इज नोन एज इंटर डिस्ट्रिक्ट माइग्रेशन द मूवमेंट बियॉन्ड द स्टेट एंड यूनियन टेरिटरी बट विद इन द कंट्री इज टर्म एज इंटर स्टेट माइग्रेशन माइग्रेशन कैन बी मेजर्ड इन नंबर ऑफ वेज विद टू मोस्ट कॉमन फॉर्म्स ऑफ डाटा बींग इवेंट्स एंड ट्रांजेक्शंस द फॉर्मर आर नॉर्मली एसोसिएटेड विद पॉपुलेशन रजिस्टर्स विच रिकॉर्ड इंडिविजुअल moves while the latter generally derived from censuses compare place of residence at two points in time population registers in fact count the migration while the census counts the migrants migrants are not required to be registered in india either at the place of origin or at the place of destination this is in contrast to the practice in china where migrants are required to register themselves with the local authority and local lack of registration of migrants census and national sample survey are the two main sources of migration data in india census provides data on migrants based on place of birth pob and place of last residence polr if the place of birth or place of residence is different from the place of enumeration a person is defined as a migrant on the other hand if the place of birth and place of enumeration is the same the person is a non migrant migrants defined on the basis of pob or polr are called the lifetime migrants because the time of their move is not known migrants defined by place of birth If a person born in a village or town where he and she is being enumerated the person is not a migrant however in case of persons born outside the place of enumeration the enumerators were advised to ascertain if their place of birth was a village or town at present if village it was considered rural and if town it was urban but it is possible that at the time of migration the status of the place of birth might be different particularly in those cases of migration which took place for example 10 years and before but this has been ignored in the census a person in other state of india or in any foreign country was recorded accordingly when a person was born on the high seas it was recorded born at sea and no administrative or territorial status was fine assigned however in the case of persons born in train boat or bus or aircraft etc within the country the administrative and territorial status was determined 
for them and recorded in relation to the place where the birth has actually occurred. It is easy to determine the migrant non migrant status of a person if place of birth is known, but if a person migrates from his or her place of birth and returns at the time of census enumeration, his or her place of birth and place of enumeration will be the same. As a result, the person will not be classified as migrant. The census question on place of birth is, therefore, not able to capture the return migrants. Now, migrants defined by place of last re residence (POLR). Place of last residence is most commonly used measure to determine the migrant status of a person. In some countries, last residence at some prior date is also introduced. Census enumerators have been asked to determine the place of last residence of each person during the census. If the place of last residence was different from the place of her enumeration, the actual place of last residence, name of the village or town was asked to record. It has been clarified by censor that the place of birth of a person can also be counted as the place of last residence. If a person is enumerated at a place other than his or her place of birth and if he or she had no other place of residence before coming to the place of enumeration. Indian census does not specify any duration of stay, which is necessary to qualify for recording the place of last residence. The census instruction says that the circumstances of each case would have to be taken before deciding a person's last residence. For example, a government officer who is transferred for a short period must be moving from his or her place of various posting, which would become his or her place of last residence irrespective of his or her stay in the new job. However, temporary movement like women moving into hospital for delivery, a person moving into a hospital for treatment etc. at a place other than their usual residence will not be considered as the place of last residence but in case of a child born in a hospital into which the mother has moved temporarily for delivery the place where the hospital is will be treated as the place of last residence for the child but not for the mother as such the child will be defined as migrant based on place at last residence whereas the mother is not it is interesting to note the differences in defining migrants between the census and NSS. The concept of usual place of residence is adopted by NSS to define migrants. A usual place of residence is defined as a place where the person had stayed continuously for a period of six months or more.